Residents of Ta'al have been evacuated by authorities over the recent seismic activity and changes in the volcano's main crater lake. Ray Pelayo will give us more details in this report. Ray, where specific do these evacuated residents live? Arlene, the evacuated residents live within the volcano island, which is supposed to be a no-man's island, particularly residents of Tusichos in Talisay Municipality. The National Disaster Risk Reduction Management Council said the evacuation was a precautionary move. The UST Undersecretary and FIBOX OIC Renato Solidum said that he recommended the restriction of people in the whole island. Earlier, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIBOX, have recorded 98 volcanic tremors in the past 24 hours, having durations of 5 to 12 minutes. The agency also monitored an increase in acidity and temperature of the Al Volcano's main crater lake. Alert level 1 remains in effect with possibility of sudden stream-driven or phreatic explosions, volcanic earthquakes, minor ashfall, and lethal uh, expulsions of volcanic gas occurring and threatening areas within the Taal Volcano Island. PIVOX DOST strongly advise everyone against entering the Taal Volcano Island, Taal Volcano Permanent Danger Zone, especially in uh, its main crater lake, and features in the Ancastila due to the danger posed by the volcano's recent activity. Arlene? Thank you so much, Ray Pelayo reporting live. And to give us more details and updates about the Taal Volcano situation, we have on the line FIVOX Director Undersecretary Renato Solidum Jr. Good evening, Yusek. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yes, good evening. You said just a few questions. Uh, first and foremost, for our viewers to have a better understanding on the current situation in Ta'al. You said, what's the cause of this heightened seismic activity? The volcanic tremors that are being recorded in Ta'al Volcano are essentially caused by the boiling of groundwater by hot gases from the magma beneath the volcano. So it is really called uh, uh, hydrothermal activity. And this is manifested not only by the increased earthquake events, but also the increasing acidity and temperature of the main crater lake. The lake water is becoming more acidic and uh, hotter as the hot gases uh, uh, brought in by the uh, uh, water, the boiled water, would be incorporated into the Taal main crater. Mm -hmm. You said, what are we um, monitoring or expecting in the uh, next few hours? Well, we continue to record the occurrences of these volcanic tremors due to hydrothermal activity. What we are concerned with would be the increased possibilities of uh, having a phreatic eruption or steam-driven explosion or emission of gases. And this would endanger if people uh, are on the island. No? They, they, their lives would be endangered. We also need to make sure that if in case there's a phreatic eruption, we, we need to monitor what's uh, happening beneath the volcano. If we can recall the events uh, last year, January 12, 2020, the activity of the volcano started with small phreatic eruptions. But this essentially depressurized the crater and uh, enhanced and facilitated the rapid rise of magma from below and the contact of magma with uh, cold groundwater enabled the explosion to to increase in terms of intensity and producing taller eruption column so uh, what we need to do is make sure that people are away from the island those uh, living close to uh, the lakeshore areas uh, need to be prepared and the local governments need to review their preparedness um, and the evacuation plan in case uh, there will be renewed activity of the volcano. It is also possible that the hydrothermal activity of the Al will just be like that and subside. But we have to make sure that we take precaution. 
Okay, Yusek, before we let you go, any advice and reminders to our kababayans near the Taal Volcano? Well, as long as we observe the restriction and people do not go to the Taal Volcano Island or stay there, then right now people uh, outside of the island are safe. Um, but we have to be aware and to make sure that we follow the updates of the OSTV Vox, which would be released every morning at 8 o'clock, to make sure that we are aware of what's going on with the volcano. It is uh, not surprising that the Al can renew its activity, if ever, even if it has erupted the year before. Uh, in 1965, there was a strong explosion of the Al volcano, but then the following years of 1966, 68, 69, and 70, there were eruption events every year. So we need to make sure that we understand this and always uh, make sure that we are uh, ready and uh, we observe safety precautions. All right, thank you so much. That's Yusek Renato Solidum Jr., the FIVOX director.